Okay. And in character, Todd out of the shot, please. And action. When you watch a film, you never have an idea of what happens behind the camera. You only see what's presented. For those who are unnoticed and unwatched, it doesn't really matter to them because it's a love of creativity. Three local filmmakers are taking this love and creativity and have entered into a nationwide competition where the top prize is $1 million. It is a national film contest where the winning team has to go through a series of missions in order to hope to generate votes. This week's mission is called Speechless, so the uh, goal of it is to convey a scene from your feature uh, without any dialogue. So sound is allowed, except we can't have any speech. We had no idea how many teams were going to be uh, entering all across the country, but uh, when we found out we were the only ones from Fort McMurray, we were uh, kind of surprised and, and uh, proud to represent the region for sure, and uh, we really want to get everybody in the region's support for that matter. To support Comic Book Wednesday, just go to cinecoop.com slash comic book Wednesday and vote. Each week there will be a new piece to vote for. As we look behind the scenes, the process can be real tricky when it comes to making movies. Everything has to be spot on when it comes to lighting, camera angles, placement of objects, and sound. It becomes a total team effort, something this Fort McMurray group has already realized. If you see our Mission 2 video, uh, we actually decided to go really low, low budget on it. And what these challenges are actually designed to do is show the skill level of the filmmakers. So we decided to kind of really go B-movie in Mission 2, and now in Mission 4 we're showing a lot more polish. So lighting is actually really key for this, which actually requires a lot of intrinsic setup so that we can actually have consistency between the shots. It's, uh, it's a real endeavor. Uh, the whole idea is that you dive in head first and you don't just show off a little bit of what you've done, some of your skills, uh, but you have to prove that you can also do things on a deadline. A lot of sleepless hours, a lot of full dedication. We've got to make new content every week, right? So, and a lot of help. We're really pulling from a lot of different community members, a lot of different people. Even some people out of the community are giving us a hand with this. So it's really a, really a, a team effort. The biggest advice I can give anyone is uh, put ego aside, and it's not just you. Um, a lot of directors are attributed to the making of a film. It's not just the director, it's the team that that director puts together. So really, it is, a, like uh, Totsky was saying earlier, it is a real team effort. And so the only way you're going to get good quality is not just by learning the tools, but actually being able to be humble enough to say, hey, I'm not that good at this. Maybe I should try to uh, collaborate with someone who does have that talent, and maybe I can add something to what they're working on so that we can create something really good together as opposed to something I just want or what they just might want. Over the 12 weeks of the competition, we will see their creation come to life, and for this group, their entry means more than just the top prize. A Comic Book Wednesday means an opportunity to, uh, to do something we've never done before and make a feature film and uh, really uh, get all eyes on the region for Fort McMurray. We want to set it right here in sleepy northern town, Canada, a uh, small town comic book shop where things are not quite as they seem, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Behind the scenes and getting ready. Action! For Go, I'm Doug Roxburgh.